Hi, this is Daniel Foster from Penn State. So I had to step away from a school visit right now to share an idea that was blowing my mind. So check it out. We're at SAGES, the School for Agricultural and Environmental Science is a charter school K through eight in Fox Lake, Wisconsin. Now, why is my mind blown after being here for two hours? Because over the course of most of my life as I've been involved in ag education, I've heard people say, how can we do a better job of educating consumers? How can we grow agricultural literacy? How can we engage younger and younger audiences and how can we do it effectively? How can we align a continuum of a workforce for the agricultural sciences and all the careers that we need? And then I come to a charter school and in three hours I see first graders talking about chickens. And how do we feed and care for them in the life cycle of an egg? I see second graders applying math skills to lay out a barn quilt, creating a video on social media to share, to vote for which barn quilt, and then actually painting and making that barn quilt after they read about a barn quilt and understand the cultural implications of it. Second grade, math, art, agriculture, and then sixth graders talking to me about how do we address sustainability issues in our environment of plastic bags and what can we do and what do we deal with them. Guys, that's in three hours. And that's the purposeful use of agriculture as a context to teach about world challenges and to help address applied STEM in a meaningful way at the earlier levels. I cannot express enough of how wonderful it might be. How cool would it be if every elementary school in America had the opportunity for this purposeful engagement in agriculture, the food, fiber, and natural resources that surrounds us. Hey, thanks for listening.